Welcome to Fresh Aotearoa. We are Sons of Zion. And we're out here in one of the most precious places in the country, the beautiful paradise that is Ōtara. The freshest produce and the freshest people. Not to mention us, your freshest hosts. Wow. Coming up on Fresh today, we check out some innovative young islanders with fresh farming techniques, how to talk to the law in fresh tips, and bring you a new world record with fresh records. But right now, it's time to keep it fresh. With a bit of an out there play about a woman who talks to chickens. I talk to chicken all the time. Yeah, we know, but I don't think she tells the chicken how yummy it is before she eats it. Shala, what's the whole point of talking to the chicken then? <laughs> Let's find out, Colonel Sanders. Keep, keep it fresh. fresh. I'm Hans Fava Jackson. And I'm Grady Chadwick. We're from Still Life of Chickens, and we are keeping, keeping it, it fresh. fresh. The show is about Mama, who lives at home with her lazy husband and um, forms a nice relationship with the rogue chicken, that's the word. You! Get out of my body! She loves her children, she loves her grandchildren, but they hardly visit. And that's a story about companionship. All our parents out there want their children to follow their dreams. Sometimes when we do, we leave our parents behind, not meaning to. Do you want to change the subject? Okay. Have you found that man yet? It's great because the responses I get in my character from this guy here are. <laughs> See, did you just feel like you were at KFC just then? <laughs> Amazing, eh? <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. That was so good. I thought that was <laughs> wicked wing. Uh, I like to jump on YouTube and just really channel myself and watch a lot of chickens. Um, mm. My preparation is, what I like to do is leave everything to the last minute and have a panic attack. That's what I like to do because it keeps me on my feet. <laughs> um, no, but when in the theatre there is a completely, there's a ritual that we mm -hmm. do. Vocal warm up, physical warm up, yoga, mm -hmm. Pilates, Pilates, yeah, yoga. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> All the moments yes. are fresh. Very fresh. A. The chicken we eat on set is fresh. The accent mm. she speaks is fresh. The chicken is very fresh. Yes, and the set, the plants, the garden, fresh. Fresh. The audience will most probably be fresh. Yeah, yeah. just like that. This is my treat. How will the audience respond to the show? Oh my goodness. You're gonna love me. <laughs> gonna get out of. Oh my gosh. And then, they're like, kidding. No, they're like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh, we have a refund. They're kidding. That chicken. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but they will. They'll love the chicken. I'll take you on my life. Ever heard of keyhole farming? Is it a Kanye West track? <laughs> nah, it's a brand new innovative way to grow stuff. You should check it out. Fresh, Fresh out, out of the, the box. Maloni Freshies! My name is Seya Mikael Mpayava, and this is why I'm fresh out of the box. Not everybody's gonna become doctors, not everybody's gonna become the astronaut or the pilot or things, but everyone can actually become a farmer. <laughs> Everywhere you see is food. This is uh, more more. This part of the land we have made it as like where I live in Tokelau, it's Motuyanga, just like at home. <laughs> you can see what I from Kukama. This is Kiho Garden Principle. Kiho Garden is, um, was founded uh, in Africa. This is mainly because it's uh, not enough water. In Keyhole Gardens, you need to follow layers of compost. Not only you build on the ground, but you're also making a soil yourself. Logs. Then we use our pool. Then we put in green waste. And we cover it of soil. The Keyhole allows you to go into the garden and then put all your uh, green waste and your brown waste into the funnel in the middle. So when you put it in there, then that's where you put the water. You don't have to leave it break down. What I do, I just plant it. In Tokelau, 
you know, they told me that it's hard to plant cabbage, they plant, so it's hard to plant anything because the salt water table is very high in Tokelau. So all you had to do, you had to build it on the ground. So I thought, oh, well, this, is, this will work better. And then we trialed it and it worked. I started to think of an idea that I can actually go and grow something and then trade it with my brothers because they're good fishermen, right? <laughs> the Inati system is when the fishermen go out fishing at night, they come back and then the, the catch is brought together and put together and then they distribute it equally to the people. So I thought since this land is funded by our elders, I thought I could contribute from Samoa into the tradition of Inati. <laughs> We'll grow as much vegetable as we have, and then we'll harvest it and send them home, and then they can distribute it amongst the family. At the same time, it helps their health, but also it's, I feel that I'm still at home um, to contribute to our, to our people. I got a bad case of Monday ID. Make sure you come back after the break to find out how many Afro picks you can fit into an Afro. Also, we share with you the wonderful world of Sons of Zion. See you soon. Welcome back to Fresh. We're Sons of Zion. And this is a slice of our world. One more time, so can you tell me, baby? Can I be with you? Yeah. Sons of Zion started back in 2007, and we actually started out of Sam's garage. Can I be with you? Myself, Sam and Joel are the only original members still in the band but we've been blessed to um, have brothers like Ross and Caleb and Matt join on to the band as well and we just met through the music scene basically and yeah linked up and now this is the, the squad. And what have I got to lose girl? A chance of me and you That's what you wanna do It's a big blessing for me to join the boys because I've known them for a while and I've been a big fan of their music when they first came out. There's a lot of drummers out there who want my job at the moment, but I've got it, so <laughs> yeah, I'm very blessed. <laughs> I guess the reason why we ended up with a uh, few singers is because we had no singers to begin with. So Rio was a guitarist, Sam was a drummer, and we didn't have a lead singer, but they could sing. So it was like, yep, you guys just start singing. And that's how uh, the evolution of two lead singers came about. And once Caleb joined the band, uh, we had another voice that could slay. So now we've got three lead singers. I wouldn't really call the music reggae per se anymore because we're doing all sorts of different types of music now and just creating stuff that we love. Our music has been like evolving really naturally and, and sort of when we came out we never really had one box or genre that we fit into. It was all reggae based but it wasn't you know like hardcore roots reggae or whatever so we've always been a bit broad so I think people are used to us trying different things and doing different things so it's been a yeah real natural evolution. We're currently in our studio it's called No Filter Studios. Everything is all done here we, we record everything ourselves. It's been five years since our last album so we really just wanted to put new music out and that was the first priority is to just get these songs that have been hidden in our studio for three some some of them are three or four years old. The taste of your lips while the sun went down so sweet and I could exist in that summer. Our latest song Drift Away has done really really well and that's probably one of our most successful songs and it sounds nothing like what we were doing say 10 years ago. And just drift away. We're lucky enough to have our latest album featuring on the uh, Billboard charts now, so absolutely stoked about that. But in terms of where to from Sun's Design, I guess we haven't put a limit to where we want to be. And I, I don't think there is really a grand destination for us because it's, it's all about the, the journey as well for the boys, you know, and, and being with each other and doing the thing that we love, playing music. Like, if, you know, if we're just so concentrated on what the end is, um, we'll, we'll miss enjoying all these things like, you know, what we're doing today, having this interview and recording and writing together and just doing what we love, doing what God put us here to do. So we just want to make our music and however far it goes, so be it. Malala and a big howdy to you all. Welcome to Freshness World Records. I'm your boy, Noah Fire, 
where today we don't only break, we punch in the face, we uppercut, we double drop to make new Freshness World Records. Today on Freshness World Records, our man Phoenix Puleanga will attempt to break the record for most Afrocombs in an effort. It's been some crazy weeks leading up to this, and uh, yeah, there's some crazy prep on my hair, I've been conditioning it, practicing some few techniques like Tai Chi, some Kung Fu. Okay, high five mate, don't leave me hanging. Yes. Okay, most Afro combs in an Afro. We've got 104 combs here. Are you ready? Let's do it. Wait for the mic. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? On your mark. Go. Look, you can't even see me. You can only see my hat. stretch now we're at 90 combs so we've got 13 more to put in Phoenix we're at 103 here's the record breaker the golden one Hundred and four. <laughs> yes! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our cones have been counted, and we have our new Golden Candle Freshness World Record for most Afro cones in an Afro Phoenix. I can't fit the necklace around your head. Pull it out now! Keep it locked for more super freshness. So don't go away, because we will be back after these very important messages. Well, yeah. They're not <laughs> that important, but yeah, just TV. Oh, it's because I'm brown. Oh, it's because my Afro. Because I'm a single dad on on dough. Beyond dough. I could be. Welcome back to Fresh Fams. Now some of us get nervous when dealing with the police. However, I do not, because I like to live dangerously. <laughs> Here's some do's and don'ts about dealing with Babylon. Here, in Fresh Tips. How to handle Don't do this, playing up. What's your name? Filetti, 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 Filetti. What's your age? Fruity. Who's your ID? My dog ate it. Are you lying to me? Yes. Why are you lying to me? Thank you. Place yes. a fast way to getting a fine yes. or deported. Be angry. Be angry, man. Your tire's flat, mate. Is it against the law to have a flat tire? Cool, calm, and collected. You know why I called you over, sir? Oh, it's because I'm brown. Oh, it's because my Afro. Because I'm a single dad on on dough. Beyond dough. Or could be. Oh. You don't want to be as a lawyer when you're not a lawyer. Hi, sir. You know why I pulled you over today. But why did you pull me over? You got a lawful reason for pulling me over because I was. I checked here and I was only doing 50 cases. And I believe this is a 50 case. I just wanted to let you know that your lights are still on. According to the law. Driving with the headlights on raises your safety when it's 40%. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Don't record them, okay? They're not as bad as the ones that we see all over the other side of the world, okay? Hey, mate. Right. I just pulled you over because you ran. Oh, did I? Oh, did I really? I got you on camera now, sir. What's your badge number? What's your badge number? I'm gonna have to ask oh, you to put your phone away. Who's your sergeant? Here, yeah, cuz, this is going live, cuz. See here, it's going live, cuz. This is what you call going 0 to 100 real quick. Mm. You're not one news. If you're a passenger, oh. be exactly that. Yes. A passenger. Hey, officer, sorry about that. Why did you pull me over? Why did you pull us over, sir? Oh, now you yeah, got my license here. Do you want mine too, officer? Yeah, my seatbelt was on. 
Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no, it was on soon. It was on scene. No, scared. He had a warrant for his arrest. I don't know why he started speaking See up. that? See? He should have just zip. Nothing. Safe. Don't name drop. You're not as famous as you think you are, <laughs> and the person you think you know doesn't actually know you. And the cop doesn't care. I don't have any ID on me, bro, but I'm quite a big deal. No other form of ID, sir? Nah, man, just on Google. So have you got a phone on you, bro? If you Google it real quick. Bro, I'm, I'm, good, I'm good friends with Richard McCaw. I'm my mate Sonny. Uh, you probably know him as Sonny Bill Williams, but I just call him Sonny. We'll call him Son. No, I don't need Sonny, I need yours. I know the new Prime Minister. I can hook you up. Yep, okay, bro, stick out the vehicle, please. Don't try to bribe him. Hey, mate, I uh, just want to see your license. You know what? I... Yeah. $50. Or a gas, you know, I you chasing people around every day. Gas money is all you. Is it illegal? It is very it illegal. It is very illegal. It is very illegal. Yes. Give him your license. Yes. And answer his questions. And if you can't, and you know you've got no warrant, no rego, no license, just wind your window down, put your wrists out. Okay. <laughs> Police officer, you've been doing a great job. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> Speaking of heat, check out this next segment as the pressure cooker rises in the super fresh game show. Hey, hey everybody, welcome once again to our new game show, How Fresh I Live. And today this is where you will see our studio position to see how fresh are they. Are they really fresh or are they just fresh? <laughs> so right now, on our right team, we have from George FM, our Maori competition, we've got Kara. It's a sporty question. If you like the All Blacks in the Auckland Blues, you should know the answer to this one. Which All Black his uh, which All Black where his father played for Manchamoa and his mother played for the Black Ferns? Is that me? You should know this one. Jerome Kainan. <laughs> that's why the Blues is losing, <laughs> mate. Hey. Anyone else? Anyone? His dad played for Mount Samoa. His mother played for the Silver Fern, uh, Black Fern. Oh. oh! Luke McAllister. Oh, Karen, Karen All Black. Oh, Karen All Black. Yeah. Now All Black. Yeah, right now, like, you can oh. look at the All Black. It's there. Oh! Yeah. Something Bill Williams. His initials is R I. His last name, Samoa oh. for John. Oh, oh, we got him, we got him. Yeah, which young is? Robert, you want it? 
perfect you are A perfect you are Rico Ione! Yeah! Yes. 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 And Robert Ioane is now oh, the oh, there's no Robert! <laughs> and for a bonus point, what is the name of his sister? Oh. <laughs> of his sister. Was she priest it two times? No, I thought you were gonna ask me what his brother's name is. No, his sister. Oh. His sister. His sister. Oh. Is it Robert? <laughs> <laughs> Amy! Huh? Amy. Amy. Wow, there you have it. This game is so close. It's now five all. That's right, they used to have six, but because we are bad at maths, we are so fresh, doesn't matter. That's why it's important. This last one okay. is gonna really gonna pull out the winner of this. This is where our live audience will know if you are fresh or you come from a fresh family. <laughs> when someone fresh in your family asks for a goat, what is he asking for? A goat. Huh? A <laughs> goat. Yeah, if they ask for a goat, a goat. Oh. what are they asking for? What, what, what are they referring like a, to? Like a... It's a jacket. Yeah, they were like a coat. Yeah. 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 Thank you, gentlemen, what a tough name it was today. But the women just take it up. Thank you to Sarah and Kevin. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming back. Sorry, sorry. And I hope to see you again next week on How Fresh Are You? Freshies, I'm Nate Roach. And I'm Johnny Two Vs. Shit. And this is the Vodafone Warriors. Fresh TV Takeover! Woo! Let's go! That's next week on Fresh. Hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with us today. We're Sons of Zion. Keep it fresh! The funny thing is this For all we know it could be right around the corner so you can see more of New Zealand on air.